so behind me is the Circus Circus Hotel here in Las Vegas. It was built back in the 60s. Some say it's not a very nice hotel anymore. It's still very popular with families. The dealings that went on here with the mob inspired the movie Casino. It still has one of the biggest big tops in the world. It has an indoor fun fair and it's also supposed to be haunted. It's got some very interesting reviews on TripAdvisor. Terrible air freshener everywhere to cover up the stale smell. Everything feels dirty, even in my room. Like the whole hotel is covered in a layer of filth. More like a motel rather than a hotel on the strip. Dead bed bugs in the room were the least of our problems. The tub would not drain, so we had to shower in ankle high water. The wood rot was so bad in the bathroom that there was a three inch hole in the wall. The room was not worth $200 a night. Just don't, pay the extra money and stay elsewhere. So some interesting reviews. It is still an amazing classic Vegas hotel. I'm gonna stay here for the night. I'm gonna check out the pool, the circus, the fairground, and hopefully no bed bugs. Come on. There's bits of glass on the floor. But that wall is just filthy. Something splattered there. State of the walls. That don't look safe, does it? What is that? I don't think this carpet has been ever cleaned. You walk around the pool, it is really filthy. First thing you notice about the Circus Circus Hotel is the entrance, right? All the big casinos on the strip have an amazing entrance. Circus Circus though, just kind of feels like, well, it's a car park. I do love the frontage though. Yes, it does look old, but it's still one of the old retro casinos on the strip. I'll show you what this looks like later because it looks brilliant at night. So there's a big problem at the moment with check-in. There is long delays. I think it's around about an hour. So I'm gonna walk around the hotel first before I check out my room. First thing you notice though is the smell when you come in. It's like a, a stale, dirty carpet kind of smell. The, the carpet looks like it hasn't been changed in a while. Now, although there's lots of new machines in here, there's some good old classic ones, like little $1 slots or one nickel slots as they call them. You can still play with coins. Look at this. Right. Let's go up here because this is where the circus happens and they do daily shows and they perform just up there. Please welcome Las Vegas' own Oleg Martinez. And it's great to see that Circus Circus still continues the theme of the circus acts. They do a few shows a day. I was lucky enough to see one. And the seats actually are very similar to what you would get in primary school. And this area just is extremely dirty. And this is unique in Vegas. It's a carousel that has got slot machines in it. And I think you can see it is moving just very slowly. Up here is a place where all the kids would love to spend hours on end spending your money still has that circus vibe to it though first any balloon to win got an arcade in here as well that's an arabian derby look just like being back in england still love the theming though of all the circus stuff and all the carnival rides all around the edge. It's weird, you don't feel like you're in Las Vegas. <laughs> Air ball, knock a ball off to win. Loads of easy ways to win prizes though. It's not supposed to be difficult. Star darts. Oh, you've got to hit, oh, you've got to get dark right in the middle of the star. I've been into Circus Circus once and um, I just went through the casino. I never did come up here. It's pretty amazing. 
So the carousel's double decked, and this is the sweet shop up, up here. You gotta just get in while it's going. It is moving, but just very slowly. Love all the horses around the side. Makes you feel a little bit dizzy because it's moving just very, very slowly. It's confusing me because the outside is moving, but the bar is not moving at all. Because it looks like it's the bar that's moving and I'm staying still. But then when you look again, you know that you're moving and the bus. <laughs> Gotta get off this before I have to wait till it goes all the way around again. Okay, let's head through towards the fun fair. And you can see the bottom part of the carousel as you walk onto it. That must make you feel well dizzy playing the slots while they go around like that. Wow, I think the cage is still the original from the 60s. Look at it, amazing. Yeah, the carpet up here is pretty dirty. The signs are looking very old and grubby. But you know what it's like. I love these old hotels. There's a certain charm about them, isn't there? One thing about Vegas casinos is the music is so loud and it makes it really difficult when I'm trying to do a video. Apparently this steakhouse is supposed to be pretty good. Those lifts do look really old though, don't they? There's loads of these little shops dotted around the casino, but bearing in mind, the prices in there are ridiculous, almost like airport prices. I decided to buy this drink, six dollars. If you've got kids and they want a drink, there's a 7-Eleven around the corner and it will be like 150% cheaper. There's a wedding chapel up here. Let's go and check it out, see if it's open. There you go, weddings, seven days a week, 10 till six. Don't know why, but this is really spooky up here. I've just found the executive elevator. Where does this go? I wonder, I don't wanna know. One of the popular things about Circus Circus is this buffet and at meal times it gets ridiculously busy. So it's kind of odd to see it so quiet right now. This actually looks reasonably new and pretty good. So the food court up here, it's like a shopping center where you can get, you know, there's a Burger King up here, Popeyes. And not much else really. Right, gonna head into the theme park. See all this is uh, a bit more updated. this way so this is the adventure dome okay so if you want to come on here it's going to be $60 when I was last here actually you could pay per ride so just up there is their roller coaster and that is really good. I'm gonna try and go on it. I'll see if I can film on it though. I wouldn't wanna go on that. Now bearing in mind this is the weekend now. I don't think I've ever seen it this quiet in here. The good thing about it, it's all air conditioned and you can come in here, rain, shine, or obviously when it's too hot outside, you can come in here and cool off. Look at that, they've got dodgems. <laughs> So odd to see hardly anyone around. No idea what this is all I'm going. Weird. It's like a little underground cave. Weird little seating areas to have a rest. A pass, thanks. There was so much hype about this place when it first opened. You know, a theme park under a dome in Vegas, air conditioned. But I don't know, walking around here now, it just feels not as great as it once did. And it shows the casino is very busy, full of people. But in here, there's not many people coming in here. 
Well, there's still long delays at check-in. I don't know if I'm going to be... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, it's Mexican Independence Day. That's the reason why. I might leave it till a lot later to check in. Well, thankfully, the queue's gone down now. An hour later, I'm all checked in. I'm on the 29th floor. I've got to go to the West Tower. <laughs> Wow, the carpet looks filthy, doesn't it? State of the walls. It's gross. Honestly, that carpet is so filthy. That doesn't look safe, does it? Something's been splattered up there. So there's no floor 23. I don't get it. It makes sense now. It's this one. Set Pookie, O oh, select your flop. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Even splatters on the roof. Two, nine, eight, one, nine. The monotone colour that gets me. I don't know whether the camera shows that up, but that wall is just filthy. Might be have something to do with the air conditioning that's pumping out that is ridiculously loud. I don't know. The carpets are grim. Not only are they dirty, they have not been hoovered. It's very unwelcoming. Here is my room. I'm not going to lie. These corridors freak me out. Really awful atmosphere. Is there any more light? Okay, lights on. First thing I noticed when I walked into the room is the smell. It's the same smell that's downstairs in the casino. I don't know whether it's, um, it's like dirty carpet kind of smell. Well, on the face of it, it, it doesn't look too bad. I don't like that dark corner though. Carpet looks um, dirty to say the least and there are a lot of stains on this carpet. It's probably what the smell's all about. But actually, I kind of do like the curtains. They are, they look pretty new actually, even though there's some stainage there. The curtains do look new, but there are a lot of stains on them. Look how old these windows are though. Is that supposed to be a vent or something? Look at the carpet. Oh, it's just something that goes around the side, sticking out. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it kind of gives me um, horror movie vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it's just a very dull, awful colour of that bed. Love the big lights, though, by the side of the bed. And they've got USB charging. Bedside drawers. How did the cleaner miss that? That's a bit gross. In fact, this just, it just feels so dirty. Look at that alarm clock. How old is that? Look how old that is, right? So adjusting it, you just move this up and down. <laughs> no digital controls here. What is that? Look at that, it's... What, that's something splattered there and that does look like B-L-O-O-D, doesn't it? You can tell the furniture is pretty old. The marble look, I mean, these drawers are pretty battered. But, you know, they're drawers to put your clothes in whilst you're here for a night, does it really matter? There is a new TV. I was half expecting to see one of the old TVs. Let me know in the comments what that is. Something to do with the TV, I don't know. Let's just double check it works. Never had that in a hotel before. The actual list of TV channels. A hundred channels to choose from. Nice little workstation here, retro chair. That's actually quite big and quite nice. Although, yeah, it is dirty though. This chair looks like it's uh, it's been here for a while. I don't know if I want to sit on that. Blimey, look at the stains on the carpet. I don't want to walk around here without any shoes on, to be honest. Have they hoovered? There's somebody's tag. Have they hoovered this floor? Because I'm sure they have. Well, they've got a rubbish hoover. You can see all the furniture is really old. 
I'm not going to lie, I am extremely nervous about this bed because I have seen a lot of the reviews talk about bed bugs. So I will be checking and double checking and if I see anything that even resembles one I ain't staying here. It looks like some of the room has been modernised and then some of the furniture is still quite old. Obviously these hotels get thousands of visitors, millions of visitors a year, so it's going to be hard to keep up with the cleanliness of the hotel. But then saying that, I've stayed in other Las Vegas hotels and they're pristine, so I guess there's no excuse. Oh, it gets worse. <laughs> so you pull this awful cover back and then you're met with this lovely brown one. Nice. No stains on the pillows, which is good. Well, I guess that's good. They've got like a, a mattress encasement on here, which, uh, which does show that they are helping that problem. There's still loads of little black bits on it. I will have to just do a little bit more further investigation, but I will not be keeping that on the bed. It's just weird, there's, there needs more light here. There's, there's like this, I know there's a bathroom light, but there's no other light just here. There's a safe, no frills wardrobe. Oh, and a lonely little iron right there in the corner. Let's check out the bathroom. Is this an accessible room? Bathroom actually is all right. It's pretty good. I say it's really good. Look at that, that is gross. But to be fair, these have been polished. They're not bad. Look at that. That is what you call a really old and pretty dirty shower head. I feel dirty touching that. More interesting marks on the shower panel. Over here we've got the sink, complimentary circus circus, lotion, shampoo and soap. That's pretty good power actually. So it's a Friday night and to be fair what I paid wasn't overly that expensive for Vegas but at the same time I don't like this room. I don't know why and on camera it might look okay but when you're seeing it with the eyes there's a lot of stains on the carpet. How dirty that uh, window looks and how the wallpaper is peeling away and the carpet's fraying at the side and I do not like that bathroom at all. It's like a scene from a horror movie about to happen. I'm going to try and settle down and of course we've got to check out the pool in the morning and uh, we might get some breakfast here. We'll see how it goes. I'll see you in the morning. Morning from Circus Circus. That's uh, Circus Circus Manor. That place is huge. I, I, th I don't know what they are. I think they are suites where you can stay in them for a lot longer period. You might be able to see the pool down there. We'll go and check that out. There are some uh, water slides in the pool, obviously being a, a family resort. Looking down on the Adventure Dome, it's absolutely huge, isn't it? I will walk over there a little bit later on. And I just thought I'd mention that if you can see this, there's bits of glass on the floor and in the middle of the night when I went to the toilet I wondered why I felt like something had bit me realized there was glass on the floor so yeah they did not do a very good job of cleaning this room so for breakfast I thought I would try the buffet I'm not quite sure what this is gonna be like because I've never done a breakfast buffet in Vegas before let's go check it out it is so quiet this morning I am up early once again 8 a.m. I thought actually it would be a bit busier than this I mean just look how quiet it is in here. Considering how busy the hotel is, obviously a lot of people not up yet, they must have had a late night. So everything is self-service, you can have as much as you like, it cost me $35 and actually in all the hotels that I've stayed in in Vegas, it's probably one of the cheapest, buffet wise I'm not sure. Okay let's see what we've got, scrambled eggs, are they grits I think? Sausage and bacon. That bacon does not look that crispy, unfortunately. Um, is that chicken, I think? There's biscuits, or in the UK we call them scones, but they are slightly different here. Obviously Mexican day yesterday, there's tacos here. Shredded pork, 
jalapenos, potato, and chorino, tortilla chips. So we've got fried tacos, French toast over here, and we've got some waffles. Toasted bagels. This is obviously not breakfast items, but we've got meatballs, we've got chicken, clams and mussels, we've got veg, veggie chow mein, peach cobbler, peach cobbler? Pork buns are in here. It's a pork bun. Whoa, look at them. And country gravy. Ice cream machines. Pastries, donuts. The fresh fruit section, yogurt. Wow, mozzarella. Is that mozzarella? Yeah, I think it is. The drinks are warm. Uh, and coffee as well. I'm pretty gutted that there's no fried eggs. Pretty simple breakfast. I've got a biscuit, I've got a bit of bacon, sausage, some grits. Uh, scrambled egg and some toast. I could do like a Bill Murray out of uh, Groundhog Day and just fill this table with food, but then that's just wasting food, so I'm not going to do that. No hash browns or anything, I've just noticed. I've never tried grits before, so let's uh, let's try it. Grits, here we go. Potato and, and meat. Kind of creamy. It's kind of, it's okay. Well, I can't say I actually enjoyed that breakfast at all. In fact, it's been the worst breakfast that I've had since I've been in Las Vegas. It's probably better for lunch and probably better for dinner rather than breakfast. So I'd give it a miss. Let's go and check out the manor, which is just down here. The pool is just beyond that wall. It's not a very high wall. Anyone could just jump over there, right? And get in it. You know, Vegas, they don't like history. They're not overly bothered about it. They'll tear something down, even though it's been here for a long time and replace it with something new. So you never know how long Circus Circus is gonna be here for. So you should definitely go and check it out while it's here. This is the motel section of the hotel section of Circus Circus. This is Circus Circus Manor. I thought we should have a walk around and have a look. And it looks like it would have been a big entrance once upon a time. There's lights all at the top, but now there's like no, no door at all. Well, there is. So I guess that was a previous reception, but you can't get in there. This all looks pretty run down and tired. Can't believe people are still staying in these suites. Someone has smashed a window up there. What's going on? How long has that been like that? See, for all the glitz and glamour of Vegas, you don't expect to see a hotel like this, do you? Just on the strip. Obviously, we can't go in because you're going to need a room card. And there's one, two, three, four, there's five blocks of these suites. I actually didn't even know this was part of the hotel. I mean, I've seen Circus Circus many times, but I didn't know there were all of these here. There's not many people staying in this block at all. I can see one lonely little car. I can see where they're staying as well. It's the only room with a, with a lamp on. It's weird, walking around the hotel and casino, parts of it feel like it's shutting down. Like you can tell there used to be things here. There's all plug sockets on the wall and what looks like a, a shop boarded up. Yeah, very spooky. The roof in here is awful. I know it's that fire protected stuff, but the, the color of it is brown, it's just, it's just not a nice colour. Someone's kicked in the wall there. Or oh, saloon. I love old Vegas hotels. It's a shame that there isn't really many more that you can, you know, walk around and explore. That's why you should definitely come to Circus Circus while it's still here, because you never know one day it won't be. So these are the banquet rooms down here. Huge space. 
each casino has them. Actually looks half decent down here. It's one thing you're surprised not to see is uh, too many clowns in the hotel. It's a long walk to the pool and it's even longer because these escalators are not working. So I'm in the pool, you need one of these wristbands which you get at check-in. If you lose these, they will charge you $20 to get in the pool. The pool is dead, it's just over there. It has just opened, but it is very quiet in the hotel at the minute, even though it was ridiculously busy last night at check-in. So it's got a little bit of a water park and a pool. It's quite small for the size of the hotel. Let's go and check it out. So it's got one, two, three slides to enjoy. We've got a little splash park for the children over there. And they do have cabanas. But these cabanas aren't anything special, to be honest. They're just gazebos with a couple of, uh, couple of seats on it. And that's about it. So this pool seems to be shut, don't know why. It's quite a small pool. There's a hot tub over here though. So there's a random little hot tub just here. Is it not hot? <laughs> Random little hot tub. Yeah, it's not hot. Yet. It's not hot. And then the main pool is just here. There's a bar. But this is it. All right, so it's not the biggest pool complex in the world, but it's all right. Even the sunbeds are filthy. As you walk around the pool, it is really filthy. Now, as you know, I love checking out old hotels, so I really enjoyed looking around here. It really did feel like old Vegas. Having said that, though, it was pretty dirty. In fact, really grubby in places. First of all, let's start with the casino. Uh, the casino had an odd odour to it. Now, yes, they've got some fragrance in the air, but it doesn't really mask the smell of the dirty carpet and what other smells are in there. The theme park in there is pretty great if you've got children and you want to bring them to Vegas and you want to gamble and also bring your kids so they can have a good time. The circus area and all the uh, carnival games upstairs I think is actually really good and it's a really great little atmosphere up there. The pool was great, a little mini water park but it wasn't overly a thrilling pool, neither was it actually that big for the size of the hotel. Let's talk about the room and the hallways though. These are really bad and the lifts in there look like they're going to break any minute. They feel dirty. The room I stayed in felt really dirty. I don't know if a clean had been in there at all because there was broken glass in the carpet and that was not done by me. Um, the bed was not overly that comfortable. The room smelt. I didn't overly like the bathroom and the atmosphere in there I don't know, walking around those hallways in um, the West Tower definitely was very spooky. Whether they're going to upgrade that, I don't know. I know the Casino Tower is slightly better. So, how much was my stay at Circus Circus? I paid $202. That did include tax as well. What did you think? Have you stayed here? Tell me in the comments. If you want to see more Las Vegas hotels, click here or here. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.